Hey guys, Brant Fowler, aka the Gonzo Goose, back with you again. You know, we recently did this uh, challenge on Dark Avenger Inc. and Dark Avenger Inc. Plus that Mike Spider Slayer put out to us to talk about some of our favorite comics. And I couldn't narrow it down to one, so I picked like six. It was actually technically uh, seven, eight, nine, but it was uh, six memories that I talked about. But in that video, I had some other comics that. I didn't talk about because I had narrowed my list down to 17. It was a little bit too much uh, to talk about. So I said maybe in a future video I'll talk about those. So I figured um, what I would do is I'd do separate videos for each of those and uh, just little short videos to, to talk about how special those other particular comics are to me. And uh, the first one I'm going to start with is actually X Men number one by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. Now, I know that, you know, a lot of my friends who are a little bit older than me, uh, their, their X-Men were not these particular X-Men. They were the classic X-Men before the relaunch when it was just all uncanny X-Men. And, uh, you know, when the Jim Lee stuff came around, maybe they, maybe it was their Marvel now. It was a little bit different. Uh, not quite what they were used to. But me... I absolutely loved it. This is how I got into X-Men was with uh, this series and let me just show you uh, some of Jim Lee's art. It's also how I fell in love with Jim Lee's art and uh, Jim Lee is one of my favorite artists uh, of all time. I absolutely love his uh, art style. Um, I know some people aren't that crazy about it but uh, me absolutely loved it and uh, you know he was one of the famous cross hatchers back in the day I, I have to say and, but his uh, his art is amazing. It's technically sound. Um, you know, and they this is how they introduced like the whole blue and gold teams of the X-Men and it was just uh I don't know, this was my introduction to them and I loved every bit of, of the series that you know that I read. Um, you know, when it first started for you know, first thirty, forty issues I was hooked. I, I read it consistently and um, you know, the, this was before the image launch, so it means it was right around the time that I really started getting serious into collecting comics, which was 89, 90. Um, so it was, you know, it was really special to me, especially when they left and started image, because then there was no more Jim Lee Marvel comics. So this became even more special to me. And yes, I did have more than one of the uh, covers because they had the variant covers that, you know, formed a, a larger image. Um, so. But uh, this was my favorite one. You know, I'm a big Iceman fan, and Iceman's on this one. I actually redrew this cover. Uh, if I can find my um, my art because it's, it's still packed away, if I can find it and I can find that image, I'll uh, I'll do I'll show you sometime. Uh, I might just uh, might just do an extra video or something to show you some some art. But I actually redrew this entire cover. Uh, so yeah, this uh, this holds some special meaning to me. So that's a uh, that's that. X-Men number one by Jim Lee and uh, Chris Claremont. 